Hello, welcome to WiseLink Academy. Today we will be reproducing that figure you are seeing at the round corner of the screen. We are going to be applying the principle of tangency to draw that figure. My first task now here, if I want to produce after this figure, is to draw a horizontal line. If I pick this point, be my horizontal line, this point, draw a horizontal line this way, right? And um, pick center point, to be use of my T square this way, um, take it upward this way. Right here becomes my center point. As you can see, that center point here is that one you are seeing my arrow indicating. At that point, there is a circle of what 10, right? Diameter of 10. So I need to measure half of 10, which is 5, to draw the inner circle. So from this point here, I'll measure 5. I have this my 5 at this center point draw a thick circle taking the circle so i have this my next tax is to the outer circle here is given to be 20 so my radius will be what 10 i'll measure 10 from this point to this point is 10 at this point center point draw circle Make sure it is taken. So I have this, right? I have this. My next tax, after I have successfully drawn this, my next tax now is that at this point, you are seeing this point here, right? There is an height of what? 40. You can see my arrow indicating, right? 40. So that simply means. 40. So from this point here, I'll measure out 40 from this point to somewhere here is 40. Measure out 40. So that's my point 40. Take my t square this way and extend it down. Right? Down this way. So I haven't done this. At this point here, you are saying, let's call it my point P. Right? Now, if you observe closely, there is an angle of 30 from this point. So I'll take my T-square this way to draw the 30. Take it down this way, the faint line. Okay. Right? It simply means the angle from this point here, from here to here is 30. So you can see what we are doing at the right corner of the screen. Right? So my next task now is that after I've drawn this, there is a measurement from this point to this point to be 40. So I'll measure that 40 out. So from here to this point here is 40. Right? So I will take my T square this way to draw a line down this way. Take it down to this point, so you can see from this point here, draw a line downward this way, right? So I haven't done this. Let me show you what I'm doing. So my next task now, after all this, is that at this point here, there's a radius of what? Radius of twenty, as you can see. So I measure twenty. On my meter rule, from this point here to this point is 20, right? Place it at this point here and draw a faint circle. Faint circle. As you can see what I'm having. My next task now is that at this same point, you know this is point P. Let me call this point here point Q. At my point Q, as you can see my arrow indicating, there's an radius of what? 12. So I'll measure 12 from this point. That's 12, 1.2. I have this 1.2. I will draw a faint circle from that point P. Draw a faint circle. Right? 
a thin circle. So I have this after drawing of a thin circle. Next up, next up, if you observe very well, um, circle P and circle Q are attached with one bigger arc, radius of what? 40, if you observe closely. So therefore, um, whenever in, in the principle of tangency, whenever I see an arc passing through circle, such that the arc is um, um, illustrating a big dummy or perhaps the, circle, the arc is shooting out and it's what? Minus, right? So therefore, I know that the, this, the radius of this is what? 20. So therefore, our minus 40 from 20, that becomes 40, R40 minus R20, I will get is equal to what? R20. So I'll measure 20 from this point to this point. Place it at this point here. Can you see that? Strike an arc downward this way. Right? Arc downward this way. My next act is that that same R40 minus it from the rest of this, which is what? 12. So R40, R40 minus 12. I have 28. So I'll measure 28 on meter rule from this point here. 28, right? So this point is 28. So I will take it to this point here and cut the arc. Where the arc cut at this point, I call it my point R. Right? So at my point R, I will take my compass to gauge it. Take it this way, extend it to this point and uh, gauge it. Right? I will need to gauge it. So gauging it, I will gauge it. We gauge it. Can you see that? We gauge it. So I have this, right? I have successfully so draw that arc that connects those points together. So after I successfully draw my arc, my next task is that if I observe closely, there is an arc at this point of radius what 30 right and that arc is showing what an empty tummy right so i'll simply add 30 plus what what's the rest of this circle the other one is what 20 to so my this the diameter here is 20 for the bigger circle here so half of 20 is 10 that becomes 10 plus 20 plus 30 i have 40 right i'll measure 40 on meter rule from this point here to this point is 40. Put it at this center point here. Strike an arc this way. Next up, the radius says 20. 20 plus 30, I get what? 50. I'll measure 50 on my meter row. Right? Put it at this point P. Strike the arc. When it's caught at this point, call it S. Point S. So simply measure, put your pin at point S and gauge it. If I gauge it, um, if I gauge it, I need to gauge it. Right? I need to gauge it. So if I get it, I have this, right? After gauging, I have this, right? So what's my next task? I've successfully produced out this. So my aim now is to produce out the arc here. And the arc here is what? Is it what? 25. R25, right? Now, I will simply, you know that that same arc is um, showing a hole. Right, I will have that um, radius of that arc. That's R25 plus R12. This this arc here is radius of 12. So 25 plus 12, I have 37. So I'll measure 37, 35, 6, 7, 
to this point i'll put my pin of compass here strike an arc this way right so similarly uh, let me extend it down this way so that's in case all right my next task now is that that same arch 25 add it up to the rest of this which is 10 so 25 plus 10 i have 35 35 from this point to this point 35 at that point place it here strike an arc where the arc cut is at this point so call this point point what point q prime right so ask point q prime put your pin there and gauge it gauge the points right gauge the points so i'm taking it see as you can see what we are having my next task is come to point p and um Taking it down this way, taking point P down, right? I have this. Similarly, come to point Q and close point Q with a thick line this way. Let me show you. Close it down this way. So I have this. As you can see, we have successfully replicate what's at the right corner of the screen to be this. Right? Uh, next task to dimension. So we know already from this point here. So we have successfully replicate what is at the right corner of the screen should be this so you found this class helpful don't forget to click on the button and like thank you welcome to wiselink academy